Shabbat Shalom, everyone. This week's portion, Barashat Nitzavim Vayelech. And the famous author and philosopher Albert Camus wrote a book called The Myth of Sisyphus. Sisyphus was an individual that was punished by the gods, according to the Greek myth- mythology. And this individual, Sisyphus, his punishment was to drag a rock on his back up the mountain but every time he reached with the heavy rock on his back to the top, to the summit of the mountain, that stone rolled back and he had to start the process all over again and he was punished for eternity. And Albert Camus takes that myth and says, life of a person is the same. He looks at the day ahead of him and he longs, he wants the day, the tomorrow to come already, but he doesn't know that tomorrow brings quicker his death. Every time you wait for tomorrow, it's like longing for the end of your life. That's the absurd of life, according to Albert Camus. And about the meaning and the existential meaning of life, he takes this myth of Sisyphus and he says it's like carrying a rock. What is the purpose of life? You're going to get up to the mountain and the stone is going to roll back again and people are going to start rolling that stone back again up the mountain. Why, why is it worth living at all. Well, Solomon the king already said that there's nothing new under the sun. And whatever was, is going to be. And it's sort of what uh, Sisyphus, or the myth of Sisyphus, which actually came after Solomon the king, they're speaking in the same language. Solomon the king actually solved it by saying that the meaning of life, the existential meaning of life, is worshiping God, adhering to the mitzvot, etc., etc. But the absurd of waiting until tomorrow and without bringing forward or bringing close to your death, that absurd he did not solve. But this week's portion, there's one verse that is surprising and it brings forward, I think, a solution to this existential problem. And God, in one brilliant and very sharp observation and sentence. He says, listen to me, Israel. I am having a covenant with you, a brit. And this covenant is not only going to be with you, those that are sitting here before going into the land of Israel, but et asher enam itano ayom. I'm actually signing this treaty, this covenant, also with those that are not here today. How beautiful is that? How beautiful it is that the people are actually gathered around the mountain, the mountain of meaning. And the meaning of life, according to the Torah, is adhering to the mitzvot, um, connecting to God. But people are going to strive towards tomorrow. What am I supposed to do tomorrow? But they're not alone, says the Torah. Atem nitzavim, you're all gathered here today. Every single one of you. Not only in the present, not only in the past, but I'm signing a covenant with those that are going to be in the future also, the generations to come. And therefore, all of you are gathered next to this mountain of meaning. And when you have to carry this stone, this old Torah, with the analogy to Sisyphus, you're not there on your own. You're there with entire Jewish people. And when you're starting to carry this meaning of life, this book of commandments, up that meaning of mountain, Along the mountain, they're going to wait for you generations upon generations. They're going to help you carry this meaning up the mountain. And when they come to you and you help them carry the stones, you will be carrying them as well until you reach the summit. And when you reach the summit, the stone is not going to roll back down. It's going to stay up there with all those generations that brought this meaning up to the mountain. And there you are going to rejoice. That's the meaning of life, and there is no absurd in it. Because waiting for the next day is waiting to meet the next generation that is going to help you and be together with you in the long journey that you started. Shabbat Shalom.